The following is a timeline of the drafting and ratification of the United States Constitution. The drafting of the Constitution began on May 25, 1787, when the Constitutional Convention met for the first time with a quorum at the Pennsylvania State House in Philadelphia to revise the Articles of Confederation, and ended on September 17, 1787 the day the Constitution drafted by the Convention's delegates to replace the Articles was adopted and signed. The ratification process for the Constitution began that day, and ended when the final state, Rhode Island, ratified it on May 29, 1790, three years later. In addition to key events during the Constitutional Convention and afterward while the Constitution was before the states for their ratification, Important events that occurred during the run-up to the convention and during the nation's transition from government under the Articles of Confederation to government under the Constitution are also included, as is the unique ratification vote of Vermont. Thus this timeline begins on March 25, 1785, the date when the Mount Vernon Conference, a meeting of delegates from Virginia and Maryland to discuss interstate commercial issues along their mutual water border, convened and ends on January 10, 1791, when Vermont, which at the time was a sovereign state, voted to ratify the Constitution and to apply for admission into the Union. March 25, 1785 A Euro sent Mount Vernon Conference convenisa, delegates representing the states of Maryland and Virginia meet, initially in Alexandria, Virginia and then at Mount Vernon, the Fairfax County home of George Washington, to address issues of commerce, fishing and navigation in the waters of the Potomac and Pocomoke Rivers in the Chesapeake Bay. March 28 The Euro sent Mount Vernon Conference Agenda, the conference report, sent to and ratified by the Virginia and Maryland General Assemblies, contains 13 clauses and is known as the Mount Vernon Compact. January 21, 1786 A Euro sent conference to address certain defects of the federal government Collider, Virginia General Assembly with the Maryland Assembly's concurrence, invites all the states to attend a meeting on issues related to interstate commerce and trade. September 11 – The Euro sent Annapolis Convention Convenisa, delegates representing Delaware, New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, and Virginia meet at George Mann's Tavern in Annapolis, Maryland to discuss ways to facilitate commerce between the states and establish standard rules and regulations. Appointed delegates from Massachusetts, New Hampshire, North Carolina, and Rhode Island either arrived too late to participate or otherwise did not attend. September 14 – The Euro sent Annapolis Convention Agenda, the convention report, sent to Congress and the legislatures of the various states, contains a request that another convention be held the following May at Philadelphia to discuss amending the Articles of Confederation. November 23 – Euro New Jersey elects delegates to the proposed Constitutional Convention. David Brealey, Jonathan Dayton, William Houston, William Livingston, and William Patterson will attend. December 4 – The Euro, Virginia elects delegates to the proposed Constitutional Convention. John Blair, James Madison, Jr., George Mason, James McClurg, Edmund Randolph, George Washington, and George Wythe will attend. December 30 – The Euro, Pennsylvania elects delegates to the proposed Constitutional Convention. George Klimmer, Thomas Fitzsimons, Benjamin Franklin, Jard Ingersoll, Thomas Mifflin, Guevara Morris, Robert Morris, and James Wilson will attend. January 6, 1787 – A Euro, North Carolina elects delegates to the proposed Constitutional Convention. William Blunt, William Davy, Alexander Martin, Richard Dobbs Spate, and Hugh Williamson will attend. January 17 The Euro, New Hampshire elects delegates to the proposed Philadelphia Convention. Nicholas Gilman and John Langdon will attend. February 3 The Euro, Delaware elects delegates to the proposed Constitutional Convention. Richard Bassett, Gunning Bedford, Jr., Jacob Broom, and John Dickinson, and George Reed will attend. February 10 The Euro, Georgia elects delegates to the proposed Constitutional Convention. Abraham Baldwin, William Pugh, William Houston, and William Pierce will attend. February 21 – A Euro-sent convention to discuss revisions to the Articles of Confederation is Collider, 
the Congress of the Confederation calls a constitutional convention for the sole and express purpose of revising the Articles of Confederation and reporting to Congress and the several legislatures such alterations and provisions therein and when agreed to in Congress and confirmed by the states render the federal constitution adequate to the exigencies of government and the preservation of the Union. March 3 Euro, Massachusetts elects delegates to the upcoming constitutional convention. Elbridge Jerry. Nathaniel Gorham, Rufus King, and Caleb Strong will attend. March 6 the Euro, New York elects delegates to the upcoming Constitutional Convention. Alexander Hamilton, John Lansing, Jr., and Robert Yates will attend. March 8 the Euro, South Carolina elects delegates to the upcoming Constitutional Convention. Pierce Butler, Charles Cotesworth Pinckney, Charles Pinckney, and John Rutledge will attend. March 14 the Euro, Rhode Island declines to elect delegates to the upcoming Constitutional Convention. April 23 the Euro, Maryland elects delegates to the upcoming Constitutional Convention. Daniel Carroll, Daniel of St. Thomas Jennifer, Luther Martin, James McHenry, and John Mercer will attend. May 5 the Euro, Rhode Island again declines to elect delegates to the upcoming Constitutional Convention. May 14 the Euro sent Constitutional Convention convenisa, the initial meeting of the convention must be adjourned due to lack of a quorum. May 14 the Euro, Connecticut elects delegates to the Constitutional Convention. Oliver Ellsworth, William Samuel Johnson and Roger Sherman will attend. May 25 the Euro sent Constitutional Convention reconvenisa, with a quorum being present delegates begin their work. George Washington is elected president of the convention. Alexander Hamilton, Charles Pinckney and George Wyther chosen to prepare rules for the convention. May 29 the Euro, Virginia plan for structuring the federal government is presented by Edmund Randolph. May 29 the Euro, Pinckney plan for structuring the federal government is presented by Charles Pinckney. June 15 the Euro, New Jersey plan for structuring the federal government is presented by William Patterson. June 16 the Euro, Rhode Island declines to elect delegates to the Constitutional Convention. June 18 the Euro, Hamilton plan for structuring the federal government is presented by Alexander Hamilton. July 2 the Euro, Committee of Eleven composed of Abraham Baldwin, Gunning Bedford, William Davy, Oliver Ellsworth, Benjamin Franklin, and Bridge Jerry. Luther Martin, George Mason, John Rutledge, William Patterson, and Robert Yates, is selected to work out a compromise on the issue of representation in the two houses of the federal legislature. Committees like this one, composed of one delegate from each state represented, were established on several occasions during the convention in order to secure a breakthrough so that the deliberative process could move forward in a productive fashion. July 16 a Euro Committee of Eleven report, proposing proportional representation for seats in the House of Representatives based on population, equal representation for each state in the Senate, and that all money bills would originate in the House, is approved by the Convention. This is known as the Connecticut Compromise. July 24 the Euro, Committee of Detail, composed of John Rutledge, Edmund Randolph, Nathaniel Gorham, Oliver Ellsworth, and James Wilson, is selected to write a first draft constitution reflective of the resolutions passed by the convention up to that point. August 6 the Euro, Committee of Detail Report, proposing a 23-article constitution is presented for examination. Over the ensuing five weeks, these articles will be vigorously debated and heavily amended. August 18 the Euro, Committee of Eleven composed of Abraham Baldwin, George Klimmer, John Dickinson. Rufus King, John Langdon, William Livingston, George Mason, James McHenry, Charles C. Pinckney, Roger Sherman, and Hugh Williamson, is selected to address issues related to federal assumption of state debts. Issues related to the militia are referred to this committee on August 20. August 22 a Euro, Committee of Eleven composed of Abraham Baldwin, George Klimmer, John Dickinson, William Johnson, Rufus King, John Langdon, William Livingston, Luther Martin, James Madison, Charles C. Pinckney, and Hugh Williamson, 
is selected to address issues related to federal tax and duty levying powers and also its power to regulate or prohibit the migration or importation of slaves. August 25 The Euro, Committee of Eleven composed of Pierce Butler, Daniel Carroll, Jonathan Dayton, William Few, Thomas Fitzsimons, Nathaniel Gorham, John Langdon, George Mason, George Reed, Roger Sherman, and Hugh Williamson, is selected to consider issues related to interstate trade and navigation. August 31 Euro, Committee of Eleven composed of Abraham Baldwin, David Brealey, Pierce Butler, Daniel Carroll, John Dickinson, Nicholas Gilman, Rufus King, James Madison, Gouverneur Morris, Roger Sherman, and Hugh Williamson, is selected to address such parts of the Constitution as have been postponed, and such parts of reports as have not been acted on. September 1 – Euro 8 – Euro, Committee of Eleven makes a series of reports. Chief among them are ones related to, the method of choosing a president, the length of a presidential term in office he be a natural-born citizen, treaty-making power and the impeachment of a president for high crimes and misdemeanors. September 8 – Euro, Committee of Stalin Arrangement, composed of Alexander Hamilton, William Johnson, Rufus King, James Madison, and Gouverneur Morris, is selected to distill a final draft constitution from the 23 approved articles. September 12 The Euro, Committee of Stalin Arrangement presents the completed final draft of the constitution to the convention for its consideration. The 23 articles have been reorganized into a cohesive document containing seven articles, a preamble and a closing endorsement, of which Gouverneur Morris was the primary author. The committee also presented a proposed letter to accompany the Constitution when delivered to Congress. September 14 – The Euro, the official copy of the draft Constitution is engrossed by Jacob Schallus. September 15 – The Euro, the draft Constitution receives the unanimous approval of the state delegations. September 17 – The Euro sent Constitution signed and Convention adjourns a the approved constitution is signed by 38 delegates from 12 states. Three delegates present declined to sign the document to Euro Edmund Randolph, George Mason, and Elbridge Gerry. Additionally, John Dickinson, who was ill and not present, had George Reed sign his name by proxy. George Washington, as president of the convention, signed first. The other delegates then signed, grouped by state in strict congressional voting order. Washington, however, had signed beginning at the middle of the page, and when the delegates ran out of space beneath his signature, they began a second column of signatures to the left. Jackson, the convention secretary, also signed as a witness. The convention then adjourned sine die. September 19 The Euro sent Constitution published and distributed. The Pennsylvania packet prints the first public copy of the Constitution. September 20 The Euro the Constitution is read in Congress by Charles Thompson, the Congressional Secretary. September 27 – The Euro, first anti-federalist letter by Cato is published. September 28 – The Euro, Congress of the Confederation votes to transmit the proposed Constitution to the 13 states for ratification. October 5 – The Euro, first anti-federalist letter by Sentinel is published. October 8 – The Euro, First Anti-Federalist Letter by Federal Farmer is published. October 18 The Euro, First Anti-Federalist Letter by Brutus is published. October 27 The Euro, First Federalist Paper by Publius is published. The planned series of essays would, the authors hoped, give a satisfactory answer to all the, anti-federalist objections which shall have made their appearance, that may seem to have any claim to your attention. November 20 – The Euro, Ratifying Convention begins in Pennsylvania. December 3 – The Euro, Ratifying Convention begins in Delaware. December 7 – The Euro sent ratification a, Delaware becomes the first state to ratify the Constitution. December 11 – The Euro, Ratifying Convention begins in New Jersey. December 12 – The Euro sent ratification a, Pennsylvania becomes the second state to ratify the Constitution. December 18 – The Euro sent ratification a, New Jersey becomes the third state to ratify the Constitution. December 18 – The Euro, Pennsylvania Convention Minority publishes their dissent. December 25 – The Euro, 
ratifying convention begins in Georgia, 1788, January 2 a Euro sent ratification a, Georgia becomes the fourth state to ratify the Constitution. January 3 a Euro, ratifying convention begins in Connecticut. January 9 the Euro sent ratification a, Connecticut becomes the fifth state to ratify the Constitution. January 9 the Euro, ratifying convention begins in Massachusetts. February 6 the Euro sent ratification a, Massachusetts becomes the sixth state to ratify the Constitution. In addition to ratifying the Constitution, Massachusetts requests that 19 alterations be made to it. February 13 the Euro 22 a Euro, ratifying convention held in New Hampshire. March 1 a Euro, Rhode Island legislature calls for popular referendum on the proposed Constitution. March 24 a Euro, voters in Rhode Island vote down the Constitution. April 21 a Euro, ratifying convention begins in Maryland. April 28 the Euro sent ratification a, Maryland becomes the seventh state to ratify the Constitution. May 12 the Euro, ratifying convention begins in South Carolina. May 23 a Euro sent ratification a, South Carolina becomes the eighth state to ratify the Constitution. In addition to ratifying the Constitution, South Carolina requests that two alterations be made to it. June 2 a Euro, ratifying convention begins in Virginia. June 17 a Euro, ratifying convention begins in New York. June 18 a Euro, ratifying convention begins in New Hampshire. June 21 a Euro sent ratification a, New Hampshire becomes the ninth state to ratify the Constitution. In addition to ratifying the Constitution, New Hampshire requests that 12 alterations be made to it. June 21 a Euro sent having been ratified by nine of the 13 states, the Constitution is officially established. June 25 a Euro sent ratification a, Virginia becomes the 10th state to ratify the Constitution. In addition to ratifying the Constitution, Virginia requests that 20 alterations be made to it. July 2 a Euro, Congress President Cyrus Griffin informs Congress that New Hampshire has ratified the Constitution and noting that this was the ninth ratification transmitted to them. A committee is formed to examine each ratification received thus far and to develop a plan for putting the new Constitution into operation. July 21 a Euro August 2 a Euro, first ratifying convention held in North Carolina. Delegates refused to ratify Constitution without amendments. July 26 a Euro sent ratification a, New York becomes the 11th state to ratify the Constitution. In addition to ratifying the Constitution, New York requests that 33 alterations be made to it. September 13 a Euro. Congress of the Confederation certifies that the new Constitution has been duly ratified and sets date for first meeting of the new federal government and the presidential election. October 10 a Euro, Congress of the Confederation meets with quorum for last time. December 15 1788 a Euro January 10 1789 a Euro, the first quadrennial presidential election under the new Constitution is held. December 15, 1788 a Euro January 10, 1789 a Euro, elections to fill seats in the House of Representatives for the first Congress are held. March 2, 1789 a Euro sent Congress of the Confederation last meeting a, final meeting of the Congress of the Confederation is held. As only one delegate, Philip Pell of New York, and the Congressional Secretary are present, the only action taken is to adjourn Congress sine die. March 4 the Euro sent first United States Congress convenees a, the federal government begins operations under the new form of government as members of the House and Senate are seated at Federal Hall in New York City. The initial meeting of each chamber must be adjourned due to lack of a quorum. April 1 a Euro sent House of Representatives reconvenees a, with a quorum being present representatives begin their work. Frederick Meilenberg of Pennsylvania is elected Speaker of the House. April 6 the Euro sent Senate reconvenees a, with a quorum being present senators begin their work. John Langdon of New Hampshire is elected president pro tempore of the Senate. April 6 the Euro sent electoral votes counted a, 
George Washington is unanimously elected to be the nation's first president and John Adams is elected its first vice president, receiving 34 of 69 votes cast. Only 10 of the 13 states cast electoral votes in this election. North Carolina and Rhode Island were ineligible to participate as they had not yet ratified the Constitution. The New York legislature failed to appoint its allotted electors in time, so there were no voting electors from New York. April 30 – The Euro sent inauguration day R. George Washington is inaugurated as President of the United States and John Adams is inaugurated as Vice President at Federal Hall in New York City. September 25 – The Euro sent constitutional amendments proposed by Congress. Twelve articles of amendment to the Constitution are approved by the Senate, having been passed by the House on the preceding day, both without recorded vote, and sent to the states for ratification. Articles 3 through 12 were ratified as additions to the Constitution December 15, 1791, and are collectively known as the Bill of Rights. Article 2 became part of the Constitution May 7, 1992 as the 27th Amendment. Article 1 is technically still pending before the states. November 16 – The Euro, Second Ratifying Convention begins in North Carolina. November 21 – The Euro sent ratification a North Carolina becomes the twelfth state to ratify the Constitution. In addition to ratifying the Constitution, North Carolina requests that 26 alterations be made to it. February 2, 1790 – A Euro sent Supreme Court Convenisa, the first term of the Supreme Court commences, with Chief Justice John Jay presiding. March 1 – A Euro 6 – A Euro, ratifying convention held in Rhode Island. May 24 – A Euro Ratifying convention begins in Rhode Island. May 29 – The Euro sent ratification a, Rhode Island becomes the 13th and final state to ratify the Constitution. In addition to ratifying the Constitution, Rhode Island requests that 21 alterations be made to it. January 6, 1791 – A Euro, convention to consider joining the United States begins in Vermont. January 10 – The Euro sent ratification and application a, Vermont votes to ratify the Constitution and to apply for admission into the Union. Gallery, see also, Constitution of the United States, History of the United States Constitution, Founding Fathers of the United States, Constitution Day, seen at the signing of the Constitution of the United States A More Perfect Union, National Constitution Center, References External links, Founding Era Documents Teaching American History.org, a project of the Ashbrook Center at Ashland University, Primary Documents in American History United States Constitution The Library of Congress, The Documentary History of the Ratification of the Constitution The University of Virginia Press, U.S. Constitution Online Online U.S. Constitution Resource, The States and Ratification Center for the Study of the American Constitution, University of Wisconsin-Madison, Department of History, Madison letter to Jefferson informing him of proceedings of the Constitutional Convention, the Fathers of the Constitution. A chronicle of the establishment of the Union by Max Farrand 1869-1945, The Framers of the Constitution, Biographical Sketches by William Pierce, The Federalist Papers, Founding Father Quotes, Documents and Biographies.